Hello and welcome back to Code Buds. I'm shooting crabs. It's doing content. It's, that's, that's illegal. Don't hit the gorilla. Don't hit the gorilla. Well, you've got a scoped master at cart. Yeah. <laughs> got him. No way you were going to hit the gorilla. So I have uh, vague plans. I'm making vague recommendations. Now that we've gotten a, kind of a god tier cybernetic. Um, What's all, going on over there? Those are Barathermites. I, I have to assume one of them is a legendary. Hit your point of interest button. I haven't looked over there yet. Oh. Yeah, but one of them's undoubtedly a legendary. Because they wouldn't... Yeah, there you go. Disliked by Betels and Fellowships of War. You can make friends with him. That'd be fine. Right. Let's go talk to a bear. Let's talk to an enemy of Wardens. Got an artifact. Well, so um, if you've missed, like, what are we doing right now? Um, we are in the bear's asphalt mines. Out. What? Mm -hmm. We're sorry. Uh, the bear was just flipping. Oh. We're we're gonna go twenty strata deep in the asphalt mines because that's one of the easiest ways to go twenty strata deep without um, fighting horrible creatures. Um. And uh, then we're gonna puff. Some, uh, some Pax Clank, 20 Strata Deep. Oh. That is a of terrible something. Terrifying visage. It's okay. I wasn't who I was like, where'd it go? I hope he didn't in die. The corner? Yeah, no, he went is. to the corner. Okay. Where are you going, know, bud? I don't know why they're not pink for you. That's really weird. Like, he, the, the actual character should be pink. Shotty. <laughs> okay, we're slightly on bad terms with Betels, that's fine. Um, Serene Visage. Gives you willpower, which is quite nice. You can share some uh, secrets with him. He might actually be worth um, having join you, because they tend to have some really good things to trade. Let's have a quick look after you've uh, shared your secrets. Let's see what he what he has for trade. Brathermites tend to have a lot of really good stuff. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, he'll just teach me that one for free. A uh, tattoo gun. Tattoo gun. Vibroblade. Yeah. Nuclear. Nuclear. Stasis grenade, droid scrambler, chain laser, chain gun. Flashbang ah, is quite nice. A scrap of sand chair. Yeah. And then some bits. Quite a lot of bits. He's got them. He's got them. So, something you could um, do if you want to, and this is good for money, um, is basically have him join you for like close to 300 Barathermite rep. And then mm -hmm. when he's your friend, you can just take all of this for free. And just take it? You can just take it. He'll just give it to you. That seems rude. Yeah, it's it's uh, debatably exploitative, but you are giving up quite a lot of reputation in order to do that. But uh, it's Barathermite reputation, and one of the reasons I build my Barathermite reputation as much as I do is for moments like this, where you meet a Barathermite in the wild that has a lot of stuff that you want all right so i should yeah it was... ritual him again yeah ritual him again and then have him join you um i would not recommend having him actually follow you so as soon as you've taken his stuff like have him stay put shot he joins you now you can go back to the trade screen and there you go oh so, my god all zero you're gonna have to you'll you'll take a second to add all of this to a trade and the, the data discs are all pure money right because they're all like one pound each so they're really good trade goods i can't learn something i already know right that's correct most of that stuff though i wouldn't recommend you learn um i'm pretty sure we already have emp grenades flashbang grenades are nice that's like the one thing oh yeah we wouldn't mind having the stasis grenade in our repertoire you can leave the fresh water if you're feeling uh, charitable. 
Well, it's like we don't need it, and they need it to drink. I'm gonna leave him his clothes, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't want to take the shirt off his back, or the cloak off his back. Well, he's a kind of a bear, so I don't, I don't think he's gonna wear it, but... A bear yeah. can wear a cloak. I suppose that's true. The Barathermines do, don't they? All right, I'm All taking right. your stuff, dude. Go Sorry. Ahead. Trade complete. Now we are overweight, but we're going to disassemble all those bits, so we should should be good. In fact, you might already be good. Yeah, you are. Your dude already did it. Where oh, I know. Never. Well, okay. He didn't, but now he did. You might still want to look in your scrap and see if there's anything left over. Um, definitely learn the stasis grenade and flashbang. Stasis grenade is a very good um, getaway tool. It would have been invaluable in rainbow wood but here we are you don't want me to learn tattoo gun or scarper purpose in sand chair w w without uh spoiling too much you're gonna get a tattoo gun for free soon enough okay yeah look at all those look at all those bits your dude didn't disassemble automatically i i would i would honestly just hit mash that disassemble button i can't why not? It's a crab. Oh, god damn it. Here we go. Crab's there he, dead. He's dead now. Oh, golly. Golly gee whiz gosh. Well, we've got tons of, uh, tons more trade stuff for when we want to go back to Eid. Eid Freehold. So, how, how are you doing at home, chat? Comment, commenters? Let us know your favorite kind of bit. While we, uh... Comedy or otherwise. Yeah, what's your favorite kind of bit? My favorite bit is uh, about the man who can't hold... He, he, he can't hold all those bits. He has too many and he can't hold them all. Wow. Astonishing. We did it. Good stuff. A lot of... Got a lot of stuff in our... I guess... Got a lot of recoilers. Uh, I'm wondering if we can... No, we should probably keep most of those. I guess we don't need a Kyakuka one. Oh, we can drop the flaming hand axe. We could disassemble Wouldn't I disassemble that. it? We could disassemble. You can only disassemble the fidget cell. You can't disassemble a flaming hand axe. I know that doesn't really make sense, but you can't. You can disassemble the cell. I didn't realize we could do that. Yeah. Then we can drop that hand axe. It's not worth keeping. Not even to trade. And, uh, you know, much to my, um, maybe disgruntlement, we will be keeping the nano pneumatic jackhammer. Yeah, can I do anything to it? Let's look. Can you mod it? You can probably make it willowy. Oh, heck yeah, bud. You can make it willowy. That's actually worthwhile. Not, not kidding. Hell yeah. How much is, uh, how much is away now? It was, know. it was 15 before. Four! Look at that! We just saved 12 pounds. That's a big deal. Hot dang. Hot diggity daffodils. Now I never have to get rid of it. Uh, I guess that's true. Look at that. Why don't you want me to have a wicked cool jackhammer? <laughs> huh? Well, mostly because I kind of hate the the juggling routine of like swapping it into my hand because it not only gets rid of your weapons in your hand i guess it doesn't matter as much for you because you don't have a weapon your your hand is your weapon but also it removes your back uh, item now so it's like just kind of a huge pain in the butt if there was an easier way of doing that like a like a hot swap button maybe like a mod maybe from like my friend narf uh who, who but made if, that but specific if... mod but if I got, if yeah. I installed that thing, yeah, mm. I wouldn't okay. need a backslot item. True, and then you could and never. And then I could use have a wicked cool jackhammer. You yeah, can, you can never use a nanomatic jackhammer once we install that cybernetic. That's true. That is That's true. That's correct. That is, you can't use it anymore. That's the the one downside, maybe. I'm is, selling it. It's gone. Wow. Dead to me. Wow. To heck with that extra move speed and all of those other benefits that I can't remember right hey, now. Mister, oh. um, 
doesn't it also let you fly like yeah yeah listen the jetpack it gives you move speed it's it's like the god's gift oh yeah um, how do i tell him to to stay you have to look at him this is a this is a weird extra thing we have to learn now um no 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 not like that escape uh yep and now space to interact then direct to stay there i'm gonna clean him first oh my okay he is <laughs> he is tarred uh, don't you have a, a water skin of feathers in your inventory you could throw at him no it's the made up thing you just said yeah it is direct to stay here yeah s there you go all right. Hang out with your bros. Good, good. Sorry I took your stuff, dude. Well. I'm not sorry I took your stuff. What are friends for if not to give you all of their things? That's how that works, right? Yeah, I guess. So we have not even made it one strata <laughs> into the asphalt. Mine. Well, there's a lot of garbage and bits around. So like, oh, I'm not, a... I'm not mad. It's just really funny to me. Remember when we got all that stuff from that bear? Good times. That was those were good times. I remember that. That was a long time ago. Learning about settlements and ruins. Yep. These are good scrap piles that we are rooting around in. I'm just using What's happening? Oh. Take the spiky ball. What is a spike what is the spiky ball? I don't know. Ooh, the cranial shimrod. Yeah. Grab! You you puffed on him. What's that guy? That is a drill bot. You're 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 well armed, uh, literally, <laughs> to take on a drill bot. All right. So this is going to be twenty strata of uh, I... rooting around. Ooh. Found a no, we can we can do the farm. fast. No, 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 no. I, the asphalt mines is a hundred percent worth rooting around in. Uh, this is like half the reason I come here. It just so happens that we have some kind of like objective. Um, this will probably be a couple episodes, by the way. Like we're we're probably going to take a a while to get down there. I'm really really hoping. Um, one of the worst parts of asphalt mines is that it's really easy and even kind of tedious for a long time and then suddenly the the difficulty spike is like ridiculous like you just you know you're fine until suddenly you're dead um so the main thing to remember with asphalt mine is that it is not completely neutered like you you cannot treat it with uh kid gloves you got to take it seriously I feel like we've been to this floor before. We definitely have. Um, remember the humor that you wiped out on the previous floor? That slimy Vaguely. dude? Vaguely. Uh, yeah, we, that happened off screen, by the way. Um, basically, you encountered that, and we came here fairly early in our playthrough. And uh, as soon as you encountered that, I told you to run. And I do not regret that decision, because I hate those things. Crab jerky. Crabs. You want to cook gonna... anything in particular? Can we turn butcher corpses off, actually? No. That's no, right there. Yeah. Uh, you, you're going to fill your inventory with crab jerky, and it's going to be annoying. Do we want it to cook? Do we... I, I still think we should try and cook our, our miracle meal. It's, it'll be so worth it once we get it. So it's going to be... Skulk, Hulk honey, and bone meal. We're running out of skulk. No, we have we have some skulk tonics in our inventory. We just have to preserve them. Plus four strength. Whenever you suffer two times, uh. I shank him. You shank your opponent. You sure do. It's interesting. Whenever you take damage, there's a 12 to 15% chance you gain 6 AV. I think we already got that one. So 
So I don't know. We can take the middle one because I'm pretty sure we already have that bottom one. Thank you very much. The uh, whenever you perform a critical attack, you gain plus six AV was also pretty interesting. But um, yeah, we may see that one again. It's a it's an expensive journey trying to make a good meal, but it's highly worth it. Because you're basically just improving your entire run by a large margin. So we've, this is a job for the sniper rifle. Just instantly kill everything. There's really nothing here. Well, okay. Uh, do you remember that the worst, the worst thing that can happen when you're encountering crabs is getting surrounded by them? That's the only thing. Oh, and we have another humor on our northeast. Uh, deal with what you've got in your like local vicinity. We might have to step upstairs, but I think you're equipped well enough to deal with the hazards eh, that are like. Oh, nice. Yeah, we have we have massive grenades now. I am on fire, which I don't love. You are, but you're not. You're not even that hot right now. Nice thing about Pax Clank is he actually offers a tiny, tiny amount of passive damage. I think you shot the crab. I did shoot the crab. That's pretty good. The humor's almost dead. There we go. We're well equipped. Honestly, if we could find stabilizer locks for your character, uh, it would be kind of amazing. Like, could you imagine never missing a shot ever? So we've got fire snouts. I like fire snouts. They're, they're, I don't know. There's something endearing about them to me. They're, they're much, uh, ironically, they're, they're much, uh, like more mild than their slug snout cousins. Don't hit the wall. Don't hit the oh. wall. Don't hit the monkey. Gorilla. 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 Gorilla for sale. Is a is a gorilla an ape or is an ape a gorilla? Uh, I believe they are both apes. What's apes your... and gorillas are both apes. What's your favorite kind of ape? Grape. Grape ape. <laughs> Grape ape. I love I love that. Someone's just like juice box. That's my favorite kind of ape. Hey, friend. You do anything cool when I talk to you? No. He pounds mm. his chest. Live and drink. Goodbye. Look. Good hiding. Wow, he took a sniper rifle shot. Wow. Didn't ex I honestly didn't expect them to, to be that resistant to damage. I think he just got lucky. All right. Uh, gorilla, gorilla, gorilla. There's really not a lot going on on this floor. Yeah. And this is the All problem right. with... Um, Asphalt mines is like there's a lot of these floors. Okay, now that's uh interesting. Is anything there good? No, well I mean yes. Um there's definitely a legendary Pewtis Templar there, that's for sure. We would like to look at them and see what their difficulty is. Very tough. Okay, so here's um yeah, and they've got... They're hated by a lot of people. Um, I can just throw a bunch of grenades. Yeah, how many high explosive grenades do you have? Only two left. Two more of the biggins. One of the you, slightly you less biggins. You have some grenades. Mm -hmm. You might want to throw those first. Because I'm pretty sure they... Well, I don't know, actually. The problem with resonance grenades is I think they destroy equipment and we would actually really like 
to pick up what they've got. But I think only two will do an okay job of not wrecking them. Um, yeah, you're gonna, here's, here's what, here's the game plan. First of all, kill that fire snout, because he's just gonna be a pain. Reload your gun. <laughs> they, oh, I guess they are making their way over to you. I was kind of hoping they hadn't noticed you. Um, okay, a lot of them just TP'd out. Which is actually good for you. They're still in the same tile. They're probably on your left. But I don't think that they're, like, directly a problem yet. I'd say deal with those crabs that are, like, really close. What if I just throw a little grenade over there? You could. I don't think you're going to make throw it that far. It's impossible now. Yeah, he is impossible now, which is... It, it might be a different one, actually. There might have been two... Because that guy has crystal goods, I'm seeing. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, look at him. Uh, is that the same one? No, it's not, it's a different one. Pretty sure it's a different one. So there were there are two legendaries. This is spicy. Yeah, Dagil the Chikuridor disappeared. Okay. Um. I still say you should get rid of the crabs because they're going to be a problem. And if they stun you even once, it's just like a disaster. I don't think that the Pewtis Templar have noticed you yet. You've got plenty of time. And it seems like the less spicy Pewtis Templar are kind of making their way over to you. Let's see what the, their difficulty challenge is. Average. Average. Um, I'd say like mark the closest one and start taking shots. You could try and kill the trivial one, but usually the rule of thumb is hit the closest one. So you want me to mark him guy? and start just shooting him with a rifle? I don't. You don't have a lot of grenades, and I honestly don't think even all, like if you threw all of them, they're gonna take out. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Things are going badly. The legendary dude is making his way over to you. Um, here, okay, so take a couple more shots at the dude you've already marked, and then we're going to go upstairs. There's a quite a bit of tar in the way. Um, this is fine. You can take one more shot at him, and then head upstairs. And I'm hoping, this is what I'm hoping, is that you go upstairs, and then he's going to follow you, but the impossible dude is going to stay because he's not close enough to the stairs, and they usually lose interest. And we'll take out that guy on his own, with any luck. Uh, so you could do like a wait. Let's see if he shows up. Really? That's annoying. Maybe he got stuck. Reflects one damage back at you. What? All right. I'm getting baboon damaged. Uh... Uh, that's a weird one. Um, go back down. What the heck is going on? Baboon. That's impossible. You shouldn't be able to reflect damage to you. You're not even doing anything. Oh, he's taking damage I'm from fighting him spores. with spores. That's so stupid. <laughs> he's reflecting the damage from your spores back at you through the stairs. That's that's hardly seems fair. Reload your gun. <laughs> Um, let's take a quick peek downstairs. We want to lure that, cl the closest dude back. Where did they go? They're all gone. That's some blood. That's a crab corpse. Crab. Ring mail. I have a funny feeling the infiltrator, um, teleported them out. Uh, this is spooky. A little bit spooky. All right, let's let's head to the other stairs and see if we can get a better sight of what's going on. Wait, whoa, whoa. oh, that was you. Never mind. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, there's a square. But he's still here. You can shoot him. He should be not not a problem to kill. Oh, you got clanked. Ha ha ha. Ha Get clanked, son. I wonder how clank feels about being butted 
onto a Tempest Buta Butar or Templar. He hid behind the wall. The wall. Okay. He'll probably make his make himself. He got he got he, Cl he's clanking on someone else. I think a gorilla. Just shoot him. Got a pretty good line of sight now. Oh, you hit the you hit the monkey. Now you have to kill the monkey. Sorry, monkey. Okay, um, I may suggest we take a peek, like just like go up a little bit so we can see the rest of the tile. Where did they all go? That's spooky. I have no doubt that they're still here somewhere. Let's just steal plate mail. Okay, there's one. So there are some of them are still here. I'm worried about that infiltrator. I'm kind of worried that it's going to teleport you into their pile of bodies. That machine? That's a cloneling. You can and should mm. kill that thing. Yeah. There's a wall in the way. You are hitting it. The range in which you were hitting things is really quite nice. Did it die? It did die. So what is that? Is that a, the legendary? Uh, okay, so that X to your right is an infiltrator ready to teleport in. I just realized. So you want to get away from where you are. Quickly or just in the regular you, manner? You quickly would be good. I can juke. You can juke. I should, uh, I should let you know, uh, or it was on the other page. Um, we should set up a, a hotkey for sprint. Oh, God. Yeah, um, uh, south. Up and, or down? Uh, yeah, let's go up. Because you'll be protected by the tar. Yeah. Okay. Sneaky. Okay. Well, maybe maybe we'll get lucky and one of them will come up. Let's do another couple of waits. Still no, huh? That's annoying. I could probably make more big grenades. Yeah, go for it. That's not it. That's it. That's it. I might even recommend uh, modding them with foil. What I usually like to do in these stitches is uh, we could like freeze them. Can't think. Yeah, you're close enough to the stairs that it counts as being too close to them. That's not it. That's not it. That's it. Oh, I wonder if this is a good gravity grenade situation. You've got at least, you've got all the good bits to make a lot of high explosive grenades. I actually wonder if it wouldn't be worth. Oh, you don't have any pure alloy. Um, how about? Do you want to make a grenade launcher? Seems like a good situation I for can't. one. I right? can't. No, I know, but if you wanted to, you could disassemble your Kyakuka recoiler and make one. Hmm. Just food for thought. I mean, I'm pretty sure I can throw far enough no matter where they are. Okay. I mean, how many should I? Uh, I, I, I don't know, like another five. Okay. You're going to. Oh, okay. That's too expensive. Not worth it. 100%. Can't even do it. Can't even do it. Even if he could, I would, I would like hard stance, like no, it'd be, it'd actually be cheaper to make a grenade launcher and you'd get the benefits harder than an airfoil mod. Okay. Um, do you want to call the episode here and leave it on a cliffhanger? Ba -ba -ba -bum. All right. If you are enjoying this series, definitely hit the like button. Consider subscribing for more of this and we'll see you next time. Gr grenade madness. Yeah.